and Estora Stadium here, one of the most iconic badminton stadiums in the world, probably the most iconic badminton stadium in the world. Well, it's quarterfinals day here at the Blibli Indonesia Open, and our next match is North Hong Kong affair in the men's singles. Ung Kar Long up against a man who was promoted from the reserve list, Wong Wing Ki. After that, we'll have mixed doubles and then we'll finish with a men's singles. Well, as far as the mixed doubles draw is concerned, well, we had seven different nations involved by the quarterfinal stage, which makes it most, nationali most nationalities involved in any of the five disciplines. Only two seeds by quarterfinal stage and they played against each other. And that was a repeat of the Asian Games final, but a reverse result of the Asian Games final because Cho Tin Chen, the number four seed, safely through to play against Wang Chalong of Thailand. We are going to see both of those men's singles quarterfinals in the bottom half of the draw. Uh, the All Hong Kong affair next, and then our last match of the day will be Easy Jia against Anas Antonsen. Well, we're guaranteed a new name on the trophy uh, because the two former champions who were in the draw, Kento Momota, two-time champion and defending champion, he lost yesterday, as did the 2017 winner, Kedambi Shrikant. And we're guaranteed also, as Unkar Long makes his way into the arena, we will have a player from Hong Kong in the men's singles semi-final for the second time in this competition. And the only previous player from Hong Kong in the men's singles semi-final was seven years ago, Hu Yun lost in the semi-final to Du Peng Yu, who then lost in the final. So we know that a second men's singles player from Hong Kong will be in the semi-final tomorrow, but which of these two players will it be? This man, who on Monday didn't even know that he would be playing or not. It was only after the team manager's meeting on Monday evening that he discovered that he would be in the draw because of the withdrawal of the number three seed, Victor Axelson. He was beaten in the final last year, losing out to Momoto in the final a year ago, but sadly, Victor Axelson, who's been suffering from asthma and then a leg injury, and he doesn't know when he's going to be back on the competition court. So we wish him well because that obviously very concerning well this is the fifth meeting between these two players and as you can see of the previous four Wong Wing Ki has won three of them including the last two but I'm really not sure how much we can read into that because the last time they met was in the second round of the 2017 Malaysian Super Series it was three games then and I think since uh, that last encounter I think this man Unkar Long has improved considerably, and his world ranking suggests that he has improved considerably, uh, because in the interim period, he has uh, been as high as six on the world ranking, total of uh, two weeks at number six. This week went up one place to number 13, but there was a reason why he had dropped down, because he injured his right knee, which you will see in a moment is very heavily strapped, during the Tong Yong Kai Cup in Hong Kong earlier this year. Beat the European Games silver medalist, Brice Lovedes of France in the first round in 35 minutes. And then yesterday, the number eight seed, the winner of this tournament from two years ago, Kadambi Shrikanth, came from 8-12 and 16-18 down in that second game before winning at 21-19. So both of his matches, pretty quick time. Whereas this man, Wong Wing Ki, 29 year old, currently number 37 on the world ranking, but he has been a top 10 player one week from the 25th of May two years ago, reached his career high. This is his 10th consecutive appearance here at the Indonesia Open, so he's been a big supporter of this event. Four times he's reached the second round, but this is his first ever 
quarterfinal in this tournament. Beat Sai Praneeth of India in three games in the first round. And then his teammate, Lee Chuk Yu, in three games yesterday. But very decisive, deciding game, 21-7. So he's been on courts approximately half an hour longer than his opponent. And I wonder if that's going to have an effect for today's quarterfinal. Iris Mitspelu of Estonia is our umpire for this one, and Mohamed Salman from Malaysia, the service judge. Well, who would have thought before the start of the tournament that we'd have three men's singles players from Hong Kong in one section of the draw, two of them through to the quarter-final stage. But Steen, it is wonderful that for only the second time in the history of Ready this competition, this is the 38th Indonesia Open, that we will have a men's singles player from Hong Kong in the semi-final stage tomorrow. Yeah, I think they've done well. Men's singles department. It's been a while since we've heard too much from them. It's mainly been in Kalong, but um, like you said, at one point they had four really strong uh, men's singles players when Hu Yun was doing well. And um, oh, I've forgotten his name, Wei. Uh, yeah. Wei Yun? No. No. I've forgotten yeah. The, uh, yeah. Dangerous player as well. So um, definitely have. Um, a Wong. good badminton program. And, uh, Wong has definitely made the most of the withdrawal from uh, Victor Axelson. Wei Nan. Wei Nan. Apologies to Wei Nan. Uh, we couldn't think Ladies of your and gentlemen, full name. On my right, Wong Wing Ki Vincent, Hong Kong, China. And on my left, Kalong Angus. Hong Kong, China. Wong Wing Ki Vincent to serve. Love all. Play. So this all Hong Kong men's singles quarterfinal gets underway. Wong Wing Ki nearest to us. Good opening rally. Pulled in. Yeah. Started it One outside block. the line, I think. And, um, and the interesting part is that Wong Winky is actually, in my opinion, quite a good player in uh, drifty conditions. Got um, really, really good uh, recovery skills. I think he's a very, very good player anyway. Well, yeah. He may be slightly past his uh, prime, but he's beaten at least four former world number ones, Lindan, Sun Ho, Shrikant, and Axelson. Yeah. Finds the line. Three, one. That's... Uh, um once again, a tournament of disappointment for Indian men's singles. Both these players have defeated Indian players on their road to this uh, quarterfinal. But um, Sai Praneet, Srikant, Pranoy mm. out of the tournament. Two, uh, three. Pranoy was close to um, Shiyu Chi in the first round, played a long three game match there. And this positive in terms of getting back to form. But, uh, they didn't survive. Shrikand and uh, Cypher need the encounter with these two players.
great touch. Oh, challenge. Wong Wing Kim in turn two. Perhaps great touch. Challenge is <laughs> in. Depending on the challenge. They are caught a line. Challenge on successful. Good call line judge. One challenge remaining. Be sober. Okay, my fun fact of the day Three, four. is about Wong Wing Ki. Play. Not this man we're looking at, the, his opponent. That's landed in as well. Wong Wing Ki, I was telling you, Steve, had uh, four times here at the right. Indonesia Open, reached the second Five, round, 2010, three. 11, 12, and 16. But the fun fact is, all four last 16 losses was to a player that went on to reach the final. Yeah. Silver, I'm four, not surprised because five. he's a really good player in gritty conditions, so it takes something to um, to get the better of him. Silver, six, four. I think Yen Kolong normally wins when they play in practice. It looks like that. He looks really Five, confident here six. from the body language. Skill. Seven putting some good deceptions on shots from the front court there. the strings with that final kill. Yeah. Nine, seven. For a good piano player is Wong Wing Ki. Yes. Yeah. And he was actually born Wong Shu Ki. And at age 17, he changed his name to Wong Wing Ki. Because Shu apparently in Chinese means loser. Okay, and you don't want to be known as that. Nine, seven. <laughs> oh, well taken. But you must have watched Unka Long an awful Nine. lot, Steam, because he used to play in the Danish league, didn't he, for Greve Club? He did, he won the Danish championship with that club. Um, Sorry, have I upset you by mentioning that? Four. No, because um, I didn't coach any team in that uh, season, so uh, <laughs> that's perfectly all right. Just mentioned that we are the reigning champions. Yes, I was about to say that um, your team won. Oh, he, he, he had a big Maybe impact, um, played in Grey Road together with Michelle Lee, Nine. who um, reached the second round. He lost to uh, Hindupan, whom we just seen. And they um, really made a big difference there. And Practiced in Denmark. 11 9 interval. Well, it is the man who was promoted from the reserve list who has the advantage at the mid game interval. So, knowing 
and Car Long so well. Is there anything, do you, of course, all the pressure is on him. It goes without yeah, saying because he's expected to win. He's the higher ranked of these two players and uh, considered, you know, a threat. Had his injury to his knee not happened in Hong Kong earlier this year, then he probably would have maintained about 10 in the world, rank, world ranking. Is there something he should be doing differently tactically or is it just a little bit of nerves at the moment yeah, I, I, I think it's like when you play uh, a player whom you uh, practice with there is um, so much uh, in the mind and and so much knowledge about each other so you know that okay if I push this button okay. this is supposed to happen and oh I didn't push it ex uh, just entirely correct and, and I think also that the um, Playing conditions with the drift. I actually think Wong is a little bit better at coping with those conditions. Not that Kalong is bad at it. I just I've seen him play really well in in, um, in drifty conditions. He's got good um, recovery well shots from both his nine. forehand and backhand corner. Can um, uh, has a good touch. So I think he's got to. Um, up the pace on Kalong, the way I see it. He cannot afford Nine. to play too slow. I think he must be capable of playing a little bit faster than his opponents. But so far. Faster movement, you mean, rather than necessarily faster shots? Both, actually. Both, I think, yeah. But it's difficult because um, Wong doesn't give you a whole lot of chances. Then he plays this into the court. He plays it far away from the net. So you can't play close to the net. If you do, he's got a chance himself to, yeah. to spin it close and so on. So um, I just feel that in the long run, I would suspect Kalong to, to um, have the upper hand, have the um, better uh, ball uh, security, better touch uh, in the long run. We haven't seen much of... Uh, Wong in the uh, international tournament. Was, was it New Zealand that Kalong was in the final? Yes, it was. Lost to Jonathan Christie. Having beaten Lin Dan in the semi final. Yeah. 11 13. I suppose the, the thing that Ankar Long is best remembered for is the semi final of the All England earlier this year. Lost to Mamolta eventual champion. Well, he's done well here. Thank you. He lost four straight points from nine all. Now he's on a run of three straight points himself. You always get a little awkward, this. Yeah. Not always, but there's a high risk that they get a little bit awkward because you don't see the players celebrate well, the winning points Percy. the same way. You don't see them as animated as you would when they're playing um, an international player. Because know that uh, Monday we're back in practicing together and we're dependent on each other so we don't want to create any uh, bad feelings towards your practice partners Oh, that's nice, yeah. And that's and what I was meaning by faster, sh or you were meaning by faster shot. Playing yes. it flatter, yeah. hold and flick. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It was initially Wong who injected the pace into the rally, but 
he ended up losing it, and I think that would be the case if they play at this pace here. I think he would end up losing the majority of the rallies. Clever uh, low serve there directly into the body of uh, Bong. Makes it difficult to make a good um, service return. Good shot. I can tell you that shot started on the line. So it drifted that much to the right. Yeah, then that's amazing, isn't it? That is, you're right, it is a, a good meter then. Yeah. Sideways drift. And there's a good chance that the playing conditions are changing a little bit uh, as we see this match because I can feel on our position here, it's getting colder in the arena. Mm. And of course, that will affect uh, the, um, uh, the shuttle speed. back his own 15, side 15. at the top of the tape. I think that was an important rally. Oh my goodness. A millimeter away. Thank you. Court, He's got really good skills in Cologne from the front court. Pushing it flat to the back court here. Very, very short, ragged head movement. A lot like ginting. That allows them to control the uh, shuttle, even uh, playing with the 17, drift. 15. Also, like he was holding it a little bit before, yeah. eventually. Um, it was a smash, I guess, but it could also be characterized as a very hard drop shot. Yeah, just sort of flick that racket head. Exactly. Out. Well, these points are absolutely crucial. Oh, that's a perfect net shot. Yeah. He's been in charge of the net, uh, Wong. Yeah. 18, 16. Away from this opening 19, game. Yeah, and, uh, at, at this pace here, it's difficult to beat one winky. Which is why you want to see Unkar Long up his increase, pace. Increase yeah. the pace. Yeah. Touch. Yeah, he's done well. 20. Wong Wing Key. Game point 16. With four game yeah. point opportunities. Yeah, 
Drifted in. Game. Opening game. 21-16. Opening game in 17 minutes. Well, this tournament often throws up some surprises. And I wonder who would have thought or bet on a player being promoted from the qualifying to be being one game away from the semi-final. No, from the reserve list, actually. From the reserve, sorry, not the qualifying, yes. No qualifying now in the Super 1000 events. But last week, I know it's getting ahead of ourselves, Jill, but last week in California, the US Open was won both in men's singles and women's singles by qualifiers. You're right. Looks like a man who's got something to think about. Think how long what happened here. And for the record, the two winners last week at the US Open Super 300, the two qualifiers, Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei, left hander, and Wang Si Yi of China, women's singles. Exactly, both yeah. teenagers. Yeah. But not only that, qualifiers won the mixed doubles too. They did. Yu Chu Hui and Su Ya Ching. Yeah. Three one, titles one, going to qualifiers seconds. at the US one, Open. One, Amazing. Well, he's going to have to do something as this man, Hung Ka Long. Second game. Because he's almost been lulled into his opponent's pace. I think so. And I, I don't know if he thinks that now he can um, come along, that now he can sort of take advantage that he's playing up against the drift. But I just think Wong is going to play a little bit of a different game now. I wonder whether a semi final place for a. Um, Player from the reserve Silver. list in the Super Thousand, would that Two. spark some, uh, or reopen some discussion about not having qualifying oh. tournaments for the Super Thousand and the Super 750? Silver. Very good point. Three, one. Steam in the history of this Two. Indonesia Open prior to the World Tour, so when we did still have qualifying, two qualifiers in the men's singles managed to get through to the semi final stage at least. Okay. 2008 qualifier Kenichi Targo got through to the semi final. And rally. Watches it. Yep, it's gone long. And just two years ago, qualifier Kusuma Sakai reached Five. the final. Yeah, I remember that. Lost out to Kidambi Shrikant. He might be nervous in Kalong, but he's not playing really well at the moment. No. Um, I think he's, he's nervous because he, the way he uh, goes about on court looks like he's sort of playing a, uh, a practice game back home in uh, Hong Kong Sports Institute, whereas there's much more urgency on the opposite side with uh, Wong Wing Ki, the way I see it. Yeah. I think he believes he's playing a practice game. That 
leads me to believe that he's very, very tense. Eight, How long? Two. And quite frankly, all four players in the bottom half of the draw at the quarterfinal stage must believe this is the biggest chance they've got of reaching the final and maybe even winning the mm. Super 1000 event. Nine, I think so. Yeah. I think so because the um, only seed left here is uh, Zhou Tianqian. Part of the draw. Scrolling through it at the moment. Really, really solid one wing key. And if you just go through the names, I think either of these two to win the Indonesia Open here would be a fantastic effort. A mm. Player from the reserve list winning. Yeah. Or in Kolong finally getting his first big title. Antonsen, if he should go on to win the second European to win the tournament ever. And what about Lee Cgia if he's to win? Yeah. First tournament played so after Lee Chung Hei retires. Yeah. Three, They've been asking ten. and looking and searching for the replacement for Lee Chung Hei. What if, what if Lee Chia goes on to win the Indonesia Open? Yeah. This man we're looking at right now, promoted from the reserve list. Uh, I've just looked back over his results of 2018 and 2019. They have not been that good. And just to uh, emphasize that, this is only his second quarter final okay. over, I know we haven't had the full 12 months of this year yet, but the only other quarter final, Asian games in this very arena. <laughs> I can believe interval. that, yeah. And now he's going to the mid-game interval again, and 11-4 up. Last year, 17 tournaments for Wong Wing Key, 11 first-round losses, four second-round losses, one quarter-final. This year, eight tournaments, four first-round losses, three second-round losses. Yeah. If, if he goes on to win this, and, and even that would be the biggest shock of the world tour yes. uh, history in the Super Thousand uh, yeah. events. Yeah. There's no other that Thank has you. been um, so far for out of, of being contention for, for tournaments to then reach a semi final or more. But, but, but he's a tricky player and it's easy to underestimate. I think Axelson has lost to him here in this stadium. Um, earlier on. It was the Singapore Stadium, also. Singapore, playing. also a very windy. drifty, uh, yeah. windy stadium, yeah. Good shot. Oh, oh challenge. Out. Yes, he's challenging. Is he limping out. a little bit in Kalong on that knee there, or is it just the um, bandage that is um, causing him the trouble? Well, I wasn't sure earlier. I have to admit, I wondered whether he was 100% fit. Here we go. What does Hawkeye say? Caught the line. Yeah. That's a great challenge. Correction in. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it seems like that was a good rally from Kolong, but it seems like Wong, he thrives when the court is a little smaller, when you can't play close to the lines, then he's actually playing really, really well, doing the right things, not taking too big chances, not putting himself at risk, but always staying in the rally. A um, lot of players that could learn from that. So two is that. Yeah. Kirby Silver. If it's nerves and tension with Unkalong, then we should see him loosen up just about now because everything more or less seems lost, so nerves should go away. Unkalong doesn't wait like the amount of time. Both players were taking to towel down. language scene. Yeah. Total, totally different from in yeah. the first game and the beginning of the first game. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> it's one who increases the pace. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not in it, is it? Oh, that's, that's a dreadful shot. Three points away from his first semi final since the 2017 Denmark Super Series. Incidents also. 2017 Denmark Silver. Super Series, that was the first year where there was drift Ten. in the hall in Eight. Denmark. It's normally totally without drift, but two years ago they changed the um, um, air system and suddenly it became drifty. opportunities 20, for one wing key having been promoted from the reserve list. Going wide. 
I wonder if Axelsen has a part of this saying to Wong, hey, I'm going to pull out, so we share the prize money, you can win. <laughs> How he wishes. <laughs> Converts on his third match point opportunity. And Wong Wing Ki is through to his first semi final for 20, 25 months. 21 16, 21 13 the margin of his victory. And I have to say, Steve, it was a little bit disappointing, the performance from Unkar Long. Yeah. I suspect you're right. I suspect his injury was more than we thought. Uh, that was disappointing. It was... wasn't really able to uh, make it uh, close. Just 33 minutes rounded up. Official score there, 21-16, 21-13, and that's the important thing as far as Wong Wing Key is concerned, through to the semi-final.